All right, family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So this is the book right here, Ignore the Guy, Get the Guy, which is The Art of No Contact, and it is by Leslie Braswell. So this is the book that I have been speaking about a few times, and a few of you said that you were absolutely interested in this book. And so I will say that um, this book, it has, let's see, it has, it's a really quick read. Seriously, it's a really quick, quick read. It has... Um, 95 pages, which includes some frequently asked questions, uh, her favorite definition of love, which is actually one of mine. So I will absolutely read this. This is from first Corinthians 13, which says love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, boastful, proud, or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. So there are a few areas within this book that I just absolutely love, and I specifically wanted to read them to you. So this one is specifically talking about Make Him Miss You, which is what I spoke about yesterday. So I just want to go ahead and read this specific paragraph to you guys. So without further ado, a breakup must be the hardest thing you've ever gone through before. What is best for you at this point is to manage your emotions. Think before you speak and suppress the urges you have to make contact i.e. the no contact, right? Think of delayed gratification. Resist the temptation to do what you want to do now and get what you want later. So although you may not like the thought of going without contact, you must do it simply because no contact is what's best for you during this time. While you were in a relationship with Mr. X, he grew accustomed to the attention you gave him. There were perks and benefits he received from you since two of you were in an exclusive, committed relationship. This included being 100% available to him, answering his phone calls, text messages, meeting him for dinner, and of course, great mind-blowing sex. Now you are no longer in an exclusive committed relationship, and the only way to make Mr. X miss what he had is to make him feel the lack of your presence in his life. Only when you allow him to fill the void will he get serious about getting you back and keeping you all to himself understand that that's true if you stay in contact with him from the beginning of the breakup you fail to make him feel the loss of your company in his life just like death ignoring his attempts to remain in contact with you will go against every fiber of your being but now more than ever you must show res restraint and self-control when he calls you'll want to respond with lightning speed but do nothing, which gives him the impression you are sitting on pins and needles waiting for his call or text. Let his calls go straight to voicemail. Um, again, this is absolutely what I was specifically talking about yesterday. The art of no contact is absolutely what is going to get him to think about missing you. All other things that he must miss out on in order for him to even think about coming back to make you a full functioning part of his life, i.e. long-term girlfriend moving on to wife, okay? So you must not contact him. Another passage that I would like to read to you, actually I will say it's pretty lengthy, but it really is speaking about how silence is your best friend. So I'll try to sum up some of this or even read a little bit faster. So Silence is a woman's best friend is the section title of this particular portion of the book. So immediately after a breakup, maturely controlling your emotions is the hardest part, but it's crucial. You have the discipline to keep your emotions in check, which is why silence is golden. It camouflages your feelings. You see, it camouflages. It didn't say that you don't have any more feelings. It just camouflages them. It's totally normal to fall to pieces, just not in front of Mr. X. Stay calm, grounded, no crying, begging, pleading, or groveling for him to take you back. Some of you may think this behavior is pathetic, but desperate cries and pathetic pleas are the exact methods some women are reduced to after a breakup. By keeping your emotions, reactions, and obvious disappointment under control, you keep your power right where it belongs, with you. You may argue it may be wrong to hide your true feelings. You think it is your you think it is best just to be honest and get what you want to say off your chest. You don't like it when you can't be your open, honest, genuine self, but keep in mind men hide their feelings every 
day. After a breakup, a man anticipates and assumes that you will fall apart because this is what every other woman does. He becomes an expert at reading your emotions and when and will then turn it around on you and use what he's learned to his advantage. This makes you an easy target. If you reveal all your feelings and show all your high cards, you will lose the game before it even begins. I am sure you've heard the old saying, men think with their penis, not their brain. After a breakup, you are thinking with your heart, not your mind. Be smart and think rationally, reasonably and wisely when emotions are running rapidly. Go silent so he can't possibly know what you are thinking. Leave him guessing. By depriving him of his fears and a meltdown, you transfer those feelings of insecurity and rejection he has made you feel right back to him. No contact makes him perk up and take another look at you. Men always want what they can't have. And for you to make him want you back, you must make him feel you are no longer his. Ladies, seriously, there are just so many other gems in this book that I would love to point out to you again. I don't even read this much usually, but I felt like I needed to read those sections to you. I'm just going to put it a little bit closer just so you can absolutely see this book title. Uh, you will get so much information from this book. I'll just give you a couple of the other chapter names, and then you obviously can decide if you are going to purchase this book, especially if you have been through a breakup or you think that you are on the verge of a breakup you can kind of prepare for it and so they're talking about the aftermath of a breakup why no contact actually works what a man expects after a breakup cut him off completely hide your crazy okay i just like that title <laughs> uh get your house in order skyrocket your self-confidence how to make mr x miss you like there is so many gems there is there are so many gems in this book i must say that this was a 10 thumbs up. Yeah, I know I don't have 10 thumbs, but I'm just saying I'm giving this book 10 thumbs up because it was just that good. I, again, I hardly ever talk about breakups on my channel because I want you guys to stay together. However, I did have to think about, okay, so everybody has not been following you the same amount of time. And so maybe this is their first time. Maybe they need to absolutely get out of a relationship and then start following some of the things that I speak about on my channel before they can jump into the newest relationship. So with that being said, this is why I started to address the breakups on my channel because again I want to be rolling I want to build and share my knowledge with you guys so we can build happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can absolutely decrease that divorce rate and you guys can take in all of the knowledge because knowledge is power, but definitely you have to apply it because applied knowledge is better. I will absolutely see you tomorrow. Again, thank you for coming to this point. Deuces.